Welcome to this podcast of the International Dermoscopy Society about nevus associated melanoma. When we speak about nevus associated melanoma, we speak about a lesion where histologically two components are clearly seen, like in this case where the blue asterisk indicate the benign nevus component while the red arrows are pointing the pagetoid spread of a typical melanocytes in the melanoma component in this nevus associated melanoma. How many melanomas arise associated to nevi? Traditionally, in the literature, we find that uh, 20 to 30 percent of melanomas arise in association to nevi. These are a series of retrospective histopathologic studies. However, uh, a recent German study conducted prospectively in patients with multiple nevi indicated that 50 percent of melanomas in this particular setting of patients were arising in association to nevi. Is the question relevant? Of course, yes, because having a nevus-associated melanoma has prognostic implication because nevus-associated melanoma seem to have a better prognosis compared to melanomas arising in the novo. Of course, this can improve our understanding of the natural history melanoma, of melanoma, and knowing uh, about nevus-associated melanoma can have some practical implication. Uh, let's see uh, some examples and first of all let's speak about uh, the implications about the knowledge of melanoma development because we know nowadays that multiple nevi are a marker of melanoma risk but uh, nowadays still we do not have an answer to the question if nevi transform or not into melanoma and the argument of nevus associated melanoma have been used by the supporters of the theory that nevi transform into melanoma but also by those who do not believe uh, in this theory. What can we do is, uh, is to observe and to describe what we observe and in the real life what we observe is that um, melanomas associated to nevi um, arise in association to congenital nevi of course but also uh, to nevi of the acquired type common, common or dysplastic. So 20 to 30 percent of melanomas arise in association to nevi, and these nevi can be uh, common dysplastic acquired nevi or congenital nevi. Um, this is an example of a melanoma arising on a nevus in a patient with multiple nevi, uh, and uh, melanoma is arising in association with the more uh, banal-looking nevus of this patient, so a very common uh, dermal nevus. And here uh, in dermoscopy, on the upper part, we see uh, the nevus component characterized by a homogeneous light brown pigmentation. On the lower part, we see the melanoma component characterized by atypical network inverse network and blue-white veil. And in this case, the two components are clearly distinguishable clinically and dermoscopically. Here again, an asymmetric lesion um, clearly uh, uh, com composed by, by two parts, the nevus part, the nevus component represented by a banal dermal nevus and the melanoma component characterized dermoscopically by atypical network and irregular globules. In some cases, it's more difficult clinically and dermoscopically to distinguish the two components, like in this case. Um, uh, is a recent study have uh, evaluated the dermoscopy features of nevus associated melanoma and highlighted that inverse network globules and streaks are the more frequent dermoscopic features associated with uh, nevus associated melanoma. Here are some examples. This is a case of a nevus associated melanoma in a patient with multiple atypical nevi. In this case, it's not easy to distinguish, it's impossible to distinguish the nevus component and the melanoma component from a dermoscopic point of view, but we see the presence of inverse network, in this case, together with regression structures. Uh, another example of a case uh, of a nevus-associated melanoma characterized by irregular globules and streaks. And here, a case arising in a patient with multiple in atypical nevi and previous melanoma. Uh, that after this, in this case, after six months follow-up, the lesion developed the irregular streaks, and this was an in situ melanoma arising on a nevus. Uh, regarding um, melanomas arising on congenital nevi, there is no study evaluating specifically the dermoscopic features of um, melanomas 
arising on congenital nevi, based on our experience, uh, in many cases we observe the presence of a blue component in dermoscopy. Uh, here is one case of uh, in situ melanoma arising on uh, congenital nevus in a 17 years old girl, and here you see the blue component in the center of the lesion in dermoscopy. And here a case of a nodular melanoma characterized by a blue hue uh, arising on a medium sized congenital nevus in a 65 year old man. So, in conclusion, nevus-associated melanoma have a better prognosis compared to the novo melanoma. Melanoma-associated nevi can be of the congenital and acquired type. Inverse network, globules and streaks are the more frequent dermoscopic features of nevus-associated melanoma, and question is open whether nevi are precursors of melanoma in nevus-associated melanomas. Thank you very much.